Me too. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Alex is too. She just had Alex an edible. edible. So oh, there. that should kick in pretty soon, hopefully. How you guys doing? Welcome to the Fresh Till Death podcast. Uh, if you haven't listened to it before, I'm your host, Jubal Fresh. This is my hot ass wife, Alex Fresh. And this is hot ass Manny Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's right. Us, uh, Gotta make it sexy. Today, we're uh, at the Uncanny Festival in Kent, the Showwear Center. This is awesome. Hope you guys are having a good time. You guys been having fun? There you go. Six people. Six people have enjoyed themselves. Yes. The others have eaten the edibles and are just kind of chilling out in their seats right now, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. We do, a, we do a podcast as well. That's why we're here. Uh, the Fresh Till Death podcast is me and Alex's regular podcast, and then we end it with a podcast where I smoke and then Alex makes me do stuff. <laughs> because I'm a very casual smoker. You know, Manny, do you smoke? No, no, no not, not since that last arrest. I'm okay. good. <laughs> so I'm a very casual smoker and I've always been really paranoid and stuff, and, but I like it. I do have fun. Alex is very seasoned. No. <laughs> She's <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah, yes. so she's a very good smoker, but uh, yeah, he does not smoke. But I, I don't really smoke, and so uh, it's fun when we do it because then she'll make me do some random things, and I get like super paranoid and uh, awkward about stuff. Uh, but you gotta check those out on our Patreon page. The last one, she made me go out on a freeway overpass and hold up Jubal for President <laughs> sign. 2020. Jubal for President 2020. And I'm like, all right, we're gonna do it for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So we're there for two and a half minutes two and a half minutes and he's like all right i'm good yeah <laughs> but i like, felt like we had been out there for like half an hour i was like this no, is we're so not done long. yet he got so many hogs already <laughs> i'm a very paranoid person even without weed and so i know like there's certain strands that you can smoke where you're not as paranoid and that's great but uh if i do smoke one of those strands like i'll be out there i was out there and it was like, I think I'm paranoid as it is, but having an entire freeway of rush hour traffic coming at you <laughs> is like, the, it's fucking mind blowing. He also has zero hype. Yeah, zero hype. So, so imagine him out on like the freeway trying to get honks. Yeah, I'm very, very, uh, this is pretty much my energy level at all times, which, <laughs> which is probably why uh, I, I smoke casually, because as soon as I start to smoke, it goes even lower than this, and then I'm asleep right away. Uh, but I like the but the thing for me is like, um, and I know this is amazing. This event is awesome, and I'm 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 excited that uh, that weed is being legalized more and more and more and more and more because it should be, you know, because nothing bad is happening because of weed. Like you're not breaking into a house high on weed. You're not. You grab the TV and you'll make it for like a couple steps. And you're like, I just want to watch this right now. <laughs> like I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, but no, I mean, I'm super excited about it. The, 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 the thing for me that's just been a challenge, like with the podcast that we do, is uh, the fact that when I stopped smoking weed, because I used to smoke weed a lot, like almost daily when I was like younger, uh, but I stopped smoking weed when it was still called, like, hey, you got any weed? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you guys have all been there. Like, now there's so many different kinds of names and stuff for it. Like, you go in there, and then the butt tender's like, hey, you should, you, you, what do you deal with? And I'm like, well, I, I'm really paranoid. I don't want to be paranoid. I don't want to, like, also get a little bit of energy because I'll fall asleep right away. And he's like, oh, you need this one. It's uh, called Jerk Off Juice from <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Jim's Farm. You know? I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, well, you're going to get a little excited. You're going to get a little, a little tired. Then you're going to jerk off and go back to sleep. It's a bit, you know, like, it can... But that's the cool thing is it can make you feel all sorts of ways now. It's awesome because they've been able to let people cultivate it. So I think that's great. Uh, so we were going to talk about we were going to talk about something, some other things today for the podcast. But Alex and I felt like compelled to talk about something that happened the other day because we're married. If you guys didn't know that, it's weird. We have the same last name. That'd be weird if we weren't married and we just decided to do this. Have the same last name. Uh, <laughs> But she has a six-year-old son, and the other day, he did something <laughs> that made us have to look up some information, and we had to just talk about it today on the podcast. Uh, so her six-year-old son likes to smell feet. <laughs> like, he has a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> That's our worry. So he, li he likes to smell feet a lot. 
He doesn't smell mine because he minute. knows. He's six years old, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. He'll be seven yeah. in July. That's right. Yeah. But he will smell Jubal's feet underneath his toes, and I'm like, can you not? Yeah. Do that? <laughs> and it, like, I'll be laying in bed, and he'll come in the room and just like try to smell my feet, and I'm like, man, get off of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Like, this is weird. I'm like, no. Don't smell my feet, please. My daughter's two. He's yeah. My daughter, so yeah. she's 13. Her daughter is 13, and he tries to smell her feet. So Alex the other day was like, fuck this. I'm like, why does my six-year-old smell feet? Like, I'm Googling this. So she's like... Because I'm like, what am I raising? <laughs> I have to know. She's like, what kind of monster am I potentially raising? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like, she's like, I, she's like her, her exact words were in bed when, and he did it. And I was like, hey, dude, don't do that. Stop smelling my feet. And she goes, oh, hell no. And then grabs her phone and just starts... <laughs> Googling I'm just shit. like, it's an issue. Like, he likes feet. Yeah. And I'm like, that's... Was, was his dad, like, a, a foot guy? No. Okay. All right. Just trying to... No. You see, and that's what she's been worried about is she's like, I don't I don't know. Because how do you like, know when, a, when, a, when does a fetish start? <laughs> right. You know? I'm like, like, what do people that have foot fetishes do? Like, that's just weird to me. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck my son. And then she's like, oh, shit. My six-year-old... So I'm Googling... Might have a foot fetish. <laughs> So she and Googled, she Googled, how do you know if your six-year-old has a foot fetish? And then that's what we want to talk about on the podcast today is because... Or just like, is it normal? Yeah, is it normal? You know? Yeah, she, I think it Will was... Will they grow out of it? Is it normal for a kid to want to smell feet so bad? Right? Is it, did you smell feet when you were a kid, Manny? I wasn't a feet guy. I was, uh, I was like a nipple slip guy. That's a what? My thing. Nipple nipples? slip. Yeah, you a know nipple slip? Mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like where the oh. nipple accidentally pops out. Oh, that was yeah, my okay. thing at like seven. Yeah, I no, I, lo- I, I was, you know what? I'm probably right with you. I was more of a nipple slip guy than yeah. a foot guy. I never was into the feet. So when I told all. him like numerous times to stop, like now he tries to find creative ways to do it. So he'll smell your feet and act like a dog and like start oh. at his feet and go <laughs> like all the way up. He's like, ah. She's like, I know. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're not a you're not a dog. We're not playing pretend right now that you're a dog. You're trying to fucking get your Smell nose on some feet. feet. Cut it out. <laughs> is what she says. <laughs> so, so she's like trying to figure out like, is this normal? I mean, whatever you like, you know. No. But like, is it? Do kids do this? And so she was looking it up online, and she's like, I have to read you this Something that I just read. comment on a message board about feet a smelling. Who has a foot fetish. Yeah. So I wanted her to read this. You gotta listen to this. So okay. I, I guess, like other moms have also went to Google to find out if their son's you know, if it's normal to have a foot fetish. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of message there, boards about it actually. Like there's, surprisingly, there's, there's a lot of moms that were like, "I'm not alone here." <laughs> <laughs> but here's what a foot fetish guy said, and it's just really concerning. I just like I I wanted to quit reading, but I couldn't. Yeah, so you so, got you guys got to hear this post. So um, I'm gonna read this, <laughs> and we're gonna discuss it throughout because it's so absurd. <laughs> okay, it says. I am shocked at the ignorance I have read in this post. First of all, there is nothing weird or wrong about foot fetishes. If anything, it is fun. I can't even imagine life without loving girls' stinky, cheesy feet. (laughs) Stinky, (laughs) cheesy feet. Okay. And by the way, if you have a foot fetish and you're in here, we're not shaming you. Like, it's fine to like what you like. It is nor. It's nor. It's you know. It's normal, ish, to have your foot fetish. (laughs) To have your foot fetish. have whatever fetish you want. It's fine. We're not judging you. Found out it's normal. But this dude and his description of yeah. how much he likes stinky, cheesy feet is... Makes me concerned as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. go ahead. Continue. I am absolutely in love with them, the way they look, feel, taste, and smell. It is plain to see that these kids just love them. It starts at all ages, and no, they do not grow out of it. For me, it's gotten stronger as I get older. They are sniffing your feet because they love the stinky, cheesy smell. (laughs) It's intoxicating. It's like a drug. When a girl takes off her shoes and lets me smell her her stinky, cheesy feet, snot, uh, (laughs) snot, (laughs) socks and sneakers, it feels like I am high and sends shivers all over my body. The thing about his post is that he just won't stop saying (laughs) stinky, (laughs) cheesy over and over again. And when she first started reading it to me, I was like, this is... Like, this guy is a joke. This is a joke post, right? Like, this guy's trolling this right. message board. But it goes on. And then I, I'm not, I don't think he is trolling the message board. I think he honestly loves stinky, cheesy feet. 
Is there anybody in here who likes feet? Okay, that's no, not good. I'm not going to admit it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, don't, <laughs> don't be ashamed. This no, is, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's fine if you yeah. like feet. Like, because, you know, like you can like what you like. And I also, if you do, I want to ask you some questions. So if there is anybody in here who likes stinky, cheesy feet, if the dude that wrote this is in here, <laughs> definitely come up here because I would love to talk to you. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, it, essentially. I get turned on like never before. Thank God I was blessed with this amazing fetish. And thank God that... <laughs> thank God I was blessed with this amazing he fetish. He loves it. He and, lo and thank God that I have only had three girls out of hundreds who have not let me smell and taste their yummy little feet. Okay, I don't agree with that. Three girls out of hundreds. Yeah. First of all, if you're on a message board somewhere on the internet discussing your foot fetish and stinky cheesy feet in this detail, hundreds, bullshit. Well, maybe not. Not, a hundred, not hundreds. <laughs> maybe not hundreds. the girls just didn't want to say anything because they were just like freaked out and yeah. they just never saw him again. Right. Oh, so okay. the other ones could have. So and he they said just he's, let him do it and then just. I'm just saying there's no way this dude is at hundreds. I don't know. Yeah. Right? Not hundreds. Maybe 10. And then three out of the 10 said no. If, if you were in a situation where uh, a dude was wanting to smell your stinky, cheesy feet, but he was normal about it, would you let him do it? I don't know, I've never done it. <laughs> like, would you let him do it and then just be like, I'm not gonna call him after, or? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, that's weird. It but is I weird. mean, to go on, because I've read this, I mean, girls apparently like it. Right. Yeah. So. All right, is there anyone in here who likes having their feet? Their cheesy, stinky, stinky feet, feet. worshipped. <laughs> <laughs> or if Beyonce was going to ask you, hey, let me smell your stinky, cheesy feet, would you still? No? no. You would? You there you go. You, you never know. You yeah. never know. I mean. Well, that's it. that is the difference between a normal person and a celebrity. Like, if a celebrity was to come in here and be like, I want to smell every girl's foot in this whole place. <laughs> Most people would be like, that's fine. It's, he's just quirky. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's just the, that's the genius that's, that's behind his creative creativity. He just likes to sniff feet. It's fine. That is a great point. Because yeah. if Jeff Bezos <laughs> was in here and he was like, let me smell them feet, yeah. I would, I'd be like, yo, Jeff, let's do like, this. That's, let's get that's, it going. It's clearly how you got Amazon to work. Dude, let's create something <laughs> new. Go ahead. Sniff my toes. Let's right. continue. Okay. <laughs> sure, some girls will say no at first and think it's a strange uh, because they've been programmed to think that girls aren't supposed to have stinky feet. As a child, they are told to go wash their feet because they stink. But as soon as I tell them uh, I love it and start sniffing, sucking, and rubbing, <laughs> then they tell me to never stop with their eyes roll back in their head. No, they don't. Okay. I've even had some girls orgasm as I <laughs> suck on their toes. Okay, so I call bullshit on that because there's no way that... And ladies, there are ladies in here, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, even dudes, if, if you were dating somebody for a little while, right. and they were like, hey, when you go to the gym later this afternoon, don't wash your tots. <laughs> <laughs> before, you, before you shower, I want to smell your toes. And you would not, your eyes would not roll in the back of your head, would they? <laughs> Anybody in here? I freak out. I would, never yeah, happens. no, I mean, it's never happened, but I don't think they're just automatically, like the way he said it was like they're automatically orgasming <laughs> because he said that. I don't think that would happen. Maybe he sucks some toes so good, I don't know. So maybe, hey, I've never, have you ever had your toes licked? Have you no, had your toes I mean, sucked before? I have, yeah, actually I have, and I did not like it. Really? No. <laughs> no. It's just not for me, but it's fine. It's not like he actually really got into it, he just kind of sucked. You're it. ticklish, yeah. though. But I wasn't. No, and not. No. It, it you was weird. Was it weird? How did, okay. So Alex and I are married, if you didn't know this. And this is the first time I'm men finding out she's had her toes <laughs> sucked. Like, men don't care. Like, no, they do. Oh, I know they don't care. Like, they'll suck your toes. If you let, if you let a guy suck anything on your body, he will suck it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys will suck anything on your body, pretty much. If you're like, yeah, you can suck, whatever, you can suck my elbow if you want. Like, fuck yeah, I'm going to suck it. Uh, so... <laughs> So when he was, how did he, how did he start sucking your toe? I mean, really? So, <laughs> yes, I want to know. This is going to be some couples counseling shit after know, this. This is going right? to be amazing. Manny's going to get between us like, okay, so I, settle down. Let's talk about it. I said I did not like it. I know you didn't like it, but how did it happen? 
I mean, like, clearly, like, he's, like, kissing and, like, kissing down the legs and, like, uh, that's how he gets going. And like, maybe he had a fetish and saw I didn't like it, and so he stopped. But, I mean, how did you show him that you didn't like it? Did you kick just, him in the face? No, I just kind of was like, uh... You know, you can probably tell that I'm not turned out by you <laughs> on my When your head. leg goes out completely straight, <laughs> you're just like, uh, Don't do right. that. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, I don't, if a girl sucked your toes, yeah. Manny, would you like that? I mean, it depends, I guess, what, like, her bank account was looking like. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, I'm just being real, you know what I mean? Like, it's not my thing, but if she had money, you know what I mean, that changes the whole, you know, scenario. She got a nice house, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, it does yeah, change you know? it a little bit. It's like, Get me right. out of my apartment. I'm like, yo, let's do this. I'll leave my wife. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> So situational. So if you're toe sucking on a budget, gotcha. if you're toe sucking on a budget, it's bad. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs> so this is where I was a little taken back. What I was reading. Uh, <laughs> as for my mother, hell no. That is just nasty. But my sister used to make me smell and suck her feet and toes after cheerleading practice because they would get so stinky. I was only six and she uh, she was 11. I will never forget her coming in my room every single day and calling me uh, as she demanded me to remove her stinky, cheesy sock. <laughs> oh my <Sorry>. God. <laughs> Who's, in this situation, which one is worse? Yeah. The sister? The sister, Scott. Because the sister's older, right? Yeah, she's, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah, okay. 11, he's six now. So what? pretty Does, close do we in know age in my, in my children, which this is so freaking weird. <laughs> Um, I know, she's reading this like, oh, shit. So, she, or, uh, so he says, she would put them in my face. They were very cute, small, and smelled very strong cheese and sweat. Ugh. I would, I would instantly get a heart on and start sucking them and sniffing them. Whoa. <laughs> is this, like, where do they live? Do we know? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully Actually, not anywhere the, close. The, the board that this is posted on, like, he was banned, apparently. This oh, okay. Was, I, thought, uh, I thought somebody Florida. yelled out Enum Florida. Florida. I was like, Florida. it's messed up. I, yeah, it's messed Enum up. Enum Cloud, Florida. I'm on the Florida train. <laughs> This was on this was on a message board because I asked her, I was like, where did you find this? And she's like, it's on bodybuilding.com. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this on bodybuilding.com? Because, because what I Googled was my six-year-old son has a foot fetish. And like the most things on Google that came up with the same exact words was bodybuilding.com for him. Wow. So I clicked on it and then I read this and 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 then he says she would just lay back in the bed and moan with her eyes closed and then look down at me making sure I cleaned out everything between uh, her plumpy juicy little toes. Oh. I think she was masturbating because after a while I would look at her moan real loud and her hips thrust and then she would just relax and tell me that's enough for now. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm yeah. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Holy shit. And I'm like, fuck my son with a <laughs> Oh my god. So he read this and the 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 funniest part though was after is there more to there's more. it? There's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, sh there's oh more. shit. There's more. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's more. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. No, it's. Fine. I think. Okay. So. This has to be where it started, though. This has to okay, be where it says. started. She was nice enough to let me use her stinky, cheesy shoes and socks because she knew I was gonna go in my room and masturbate while sniffing them and sucking out all the salty, sweet stink. Okay. So, anyways. Okay. That whole house. <laughs> There's weird shit. That's a fucked up household. That household is not right. Not okay. okay. Not okay. <laughs> that whole house is weird. So this is how we ended it. I think that is how my fetish started. So yeah. You think? <laughs> <laughs> you think? Maybe. Okay. So let your kids have fun with your feet and your no. female friend's feet. They will have an amazing, fun-filled life. Okay. Wow. So the end of that was obviously very wrong. Very wrong. But then he's like saying, so let them have fun with your friend's feet, no <laughs> so matter what. what we told Jax. So yeah, this was the, the awkward part after it was because she read that and then I was like, yo, we have to like have a conversation about consent now. Because the kid clearly <laughs> yeah. likes feet. You know? <laughs> and so I was like, hey man, so you like smelling feet, right? <laughs> and, and then he's like, yeah. I don't and, really think he likes to admit it. Did he admit it? He admitted, he kind of, showed, he's like, yeah. And I was like. He knows it's weird. He knows it's weird. He's going to listen to this when he's 18 and hate us, by the way. <laughs> uh, but I'm like, you, so you like smelling feet? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, that's cool. That's okay. Because you don't want to shame him. Right, right. Like, if he can't get out of a, like, if he has a fetish, like, if there's somebody here, you got, a, like, a thing you like, you don't want to shame him. There's than worse us. things. Yeah, like, exactly. You know? And so it's like, just. You gotta ask. 
that was the conversation with a six-year-old. Like, only smell people's feet if they say, yeah, you can smell my feet. Like, wait, wait. So is he in first grade now? Or? Yes. Okay. Is he's not asking the other kids at school? No. Okay. No. All, right. No. All right. No. See, he's being, like, normal about okay, it. Okay. Cool. But he's not. But it's just weird to have a conversation about consent with a six-year-old yeah. about smelling feet. Yeah. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to read a headline when you're 15, <laughs> you know? yeah. like, hey, just only smell people's feet that want you to smell their feet. So if you ask me if you want to smell my feet, no. The answer is always no. He always does it. <laughs> yeah. Stop. So it was weird to have that conversation. Like, I don't know. Wow. Uh, have oh. you ever experienced any sexual fetish stuff ever? You know, I don't know. I mean... I was a freak from like a young age. Like my dad used to leave Playboys around, you know what I mean? So it was like, like I said, nipple slips, man. That was my shit. I don't know why. Like it was yeah. like, if you pull out half a nipple, I'm like, yo, that's, you know? <laughs> what about you? Anything? I, yeah. <laughs> have you? Uh, <laughs> any fetishes that I've encountered? Not I haven't encountered any fetishes, I don't think, really. That's a fetish. What? What you're gonna say. Oh, okay. Uh, so I did have something, <laughs> I did have something happen one time. I was on a date and, uh, it was the most awkward thing ever. I don't know if it was, I don't could you classify that as a fetish? I mean, I feel like it has to be because it was when you were what? Which one you talk, Wait. What are we, She doesn't I, I have obviously shared a different story. You were actually having sex with somebody. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> So I was on a date with this girl and uh, we 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 were hooking up and then she goes Smack my tit. <laughs> okay. All right. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> like, I've never smacked a boob before. Like, I don't feel like, because I, you know, you should, you shouldn't smack those things. Like, I, you know, no, I want to be nice. I'm not all. aggressive at all. Like, I'm really not. I probably should. I, by that statement, I should probably should be more aggressive. Yet, yeah. see how she said that? <laughs> He's not aggressive at all. Be a little more aggressive, please. Jesus. Like, right? <laughs> like just, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can tell how not aggressive I am. Uh, by that, but but I I was like okay fine uh, a little, little just a little smack you know just just to let it know it was being bad and then she goes no I said smack my tit and I'm like okay that wasn't good enough I guess so I smacked it a little bit harder just. Oh, uh, late library book. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know how hard to smack it. And then she like kind of sit, sits up and goes, no, I said smack my tit. <laughs> and I'm like, she was very angry that I was not doing it right. And so I was like, all right, fine. You asked for it. Here we go. And so I reached back and just Boom! Like, I felt bad instantly. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did that. That's what I wanted to say. During sex. Yeah, during sex. I'm just like, I just hit that so hard. Like, that can, I don't. That, <laughs> yeah, like, like, I'm so sorry about that. And that's what I felt like inside. And that's what I expected her to be like, whoa, too much. But no, she goes, no. Don't be a little bitch. <laughs> I said, hit my tit. And then she started smacking it herself. No, like that. Over and over and over. She was smacking herself over and over and over. And I just backed up and I was just like, I'm just. I mean, is that drugs? <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, with nothing, like, she was just normal. I mean, she was drinking, but she was assaulting and battering. You assaulted. Her own. I yeah. assaulted. I was like, I feel terrible. And then she was like, that's not good enough. This thing stole something. Fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> she was just going after it. And I like backed up and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what's done. I'm done. I, yeah. I legit, I'd, I'd be limp after that yeah, shit. I I and I was. Oh, and I was. Shit. And I told her, I was just like, okay. I'm, I'm too drunk to finish. <laughs> and I went to sleep. So that was that the one thing that I so encountered. Funny. It was like horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I remember him telling me that story, and I'm like, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. <laughs> she wanted you to what? She just, like, I don't. Like, what female likes to get her tit slapped that hard during? Yeah. Sex? Any like, any tit slap people good. in here? Are there tit slap people? One person? No. There's, is that there's one? That's a dude in the back. Female. Female. He was. He was like, yeah. I like he was my like, titty. I'll, I'll slap a titty. <laughs> is there? 
Okay, is there anybody in this room right now that is brave enough to speak about speak up about what their thing is? Yes. What is your thing? You like to be in charge. Okay, okay. Yeah. that's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh shit! Right, like, right here in front. You like what? You don't like. You to don't be in like charge? to be in charge. See, I think that's like normal. Like, there's always one person that likes to be a little bit aggressive and one person that doesn't, right? Or you could have two passive. We both like to be aggressive. Yeah, I feel like we, we, we're both aggressive. We box, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, it, but it is different for the woman to be the one that's like aggressive, right? But usually a lot of women like dudes to be more in charge, I think. I nah, feel like. I feel you. All right, anybody else brave enough to tell us what your thing is? Crazy fetish. Is there, is there a crazy fetish in here? Or Trust like me, this is a non judgment. Yeah, zone. it's not judgment. This is a judgment free zone. We just talked about how. I see you. I see you. What the? What is your fetish? <laughs> huh? Is she into something? <laughs> no, that's Alex's friend. She's oh, no, okay. Friend. She's here for the popcorn. She's here for the comment. Uh, She's like, I like to sprinkle popcorn yeah. all over shit. Okay, so I saw a hand back here. Because <laughs> legit, like, if you have, like, a fetish, you, it's fine. You know, like, I mean, if it's not, like, something illegal or really wrong, like, yeah. please don't Nobody tell us that. You guys again. Yeah. Yeah. But... We just talked about how, you know. My son has a foot fetish, okay, you guys? <laughs> so we talked about that. We talked about having a conversation with him about consent sniffing feet. Whatever you say is fine. This is a safe space. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I don't know, maybe he, when he's, like, 16, he might even have to have, like, a signature from the girl at this point where, like, <laughs> yeah. our world is going. It's like, hey, man. I mean, men, I mean, I feel bad for them. They, like, have to. I'm, it is tough, though. It is yeah. tough, you know, because, like, you don't. At the, okay, because so, it's gotten to a weird place. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, with the Me Too movement, you yeah. don't want to be too much. It, because you want to be respectful of that. Like, right. like you know, like Manny and I, we're both married, respectful dudes. Yeah. There are guys that are dirtbags, and there are guys that aren't. But where do you meet in the middle is the hard part, because the, the Me Too thing is like, I get it. I totally get it, because right. I feel bad for women online, like especially online. Like, you guys are beat down with... Yeah, you guys got to deal with a lot of shit, man. You know? Just like, huh. like, but then there's the like the good the guys that are good out there, but also you don't want to cross a line. Right. So it's like, you want to be respectful, but then also, is it creepier to ask permission for everything? Yeah, <laughs> that's I a good you? point. Can <laughs> yeah. I touch you? Is it cool if I rub my hand on your shoulder? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just yes. a weird place. Go ahead. You don't know where the line is. Like, it's, I think you feel like that's kind of creepy. Like, I want to stroke your hair. If a guy yeah. said that to you, you'd be like, I'm fucking leaving. Yeah. May I please lick yeah. your shoulder? <laughs> yeah, yeah I like your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I saw somebody back there, though. Is there a fetish back there? What is yes. it? What is it? You like to like be, on, to be top? on top? That is not a fetish. It's not a fetish. It's some normal shit. Mission? I mean, we're not hating. Like we're not shaming. Like, we're not hey, shaming. Hey, my fetish is I like missionary. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaming you. That's cool. No, no, don't, no don't we're not it. shaming. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's, it's, it was just funny because we're like, hey, <laughs> tell us the most crazy shit ever. <laughs> we won't judge you. And you're just like, I, I like standard. <laughs> 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 I like pretty normal. You know? um, all right. I think that was almost it for the Fresh Till Death podcast. But uh, before we go, we do want to give a shout out to some of the companies that are here today at the Uncanny Fest. Uh, remember, there's still a comedy show tonight. Uh, at 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock. Or is it 8? Or is it 8 or 7? Seven. Seven. 7, okay. I better not Alex late knows. That shit. She's keeps, like, every single time I have a show. Right. I and mean, you probably know, that, but, like, I'm like, uh, they're like, what time is the show? And I'm like, I, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> four in the afternoon, maybe. And she's like, it's 8 o'clock. I'm like, yeah. okay. So I never know what time it is. Right. So, shows at 7 tonight. Hannibal Burris, Manny, me, Jeff Dye, Jessica Jess Peluso, Peluso, who will be doing her podcast after us. Uh, and shout out to everybody who came out to the Uncanny Fest today. This is an awesome event. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming. yourself. Yeah. And thank you for coming to watch the Fresh Till Death podcast. Make sure you check out the podcast as well. Uh, you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash jubilfresh. And then you can see the, you can see Alex get me really stoned and make me do stuff. Are you going to promote these brands? No, no. I want to talk about some of the brands that are here oh, yeah, yeah. tonight because this is cool. Uh, there's, there's. Is this a condom or is yeah, this? Yeah, so this it's is a... a hemp condom. Like, what does that even do? Yeah. That's really... F uh, like, this shows how little I use condoms now. <laughs> is this a condom? What is this, <laughs> what is this thing? A balloon? Is this a mint? Is that breath mint? <laughs> I don't know. Is, is it a balloon? <laughs> yeah. Did I blow this up? What do I do with it? Blow it up. Uh, yeah, this is a cannabis lube. Uh, so this is like... 
So um, does it have like hemp condom? What does it do though? Does it have like? Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's see. Does is there like a description? What's Ooh. that? What is it? Sir oh. It blood. Oh, so it helps the blood flow. Oh, it's okay. For so women? not for like dudes. It's not like it. Viagra is like match. Alex said okay. she doesn't believe that. Why don't you? Believe I said it? I don't need it. Oh, you don't need it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I come buckets. It's fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so it circulates blood flow in women. That's what the condom does, the, the hemp condom. What Say a little louder. Sorry, sorry to hear you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, so hemp condoms. Yeah, which, pick those up outside if, you know. Yeah, make sure you grab some of these. Or not. Like, or throw it out to a Be crazy. No, I, lo sorry, I lose kidding. track of time. Uh, when I'm stoned, so it might make my my penis feel like it's lasting longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that wasn't three minutes; that was an hour and a half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, also, shout out to uh, Bon Bombs. Yep, check those out. They got they got some shirts, Bon Bombs. And they gave uh, us the uh, what is this? The Salvation. Salvation. This is a. Uh, this cures everything they said. Yeah, the, uh, he said it's by like Verde Lou. This is amazing. He said it literally like cures everything. Like okay. any type of skin irritation, any type of skin problem you have. Really? I don't know if it cures herpes. Don't like, you know what I mean? I don't know if it try cures it. that shit. Use yeah. the condom, guys. Use the condom. <laughs> That's yeah. what it is. Use the condom. Don't try to use this for your STD. Yeah. All right? <laughs> condom first. Not a this lubricant. second. Hey, condom let me get rid of this gonorrhea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If the condom's not working, condom. try it on chlamydia. Right. It was amazing. <laughs> there you go. Not lubricant. <laughs> so the, the guy who gave us these, he said uh, it has frankincense, myrrh, and benzoin. The myrrh? Yeah. Frankincense, myrrh. That's the shit that the... That was used in, like, Lord of the Rings, right? Or no. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> 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 like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> No, the, the, the wise men, the three wise men. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. He was talking about churches yeah, and shit. I was like, what? <laughs> Frankincense. Awesome. No, you've never seen it. It's the Bible. Yeah. Shit sounds like the magic. The three wise men. I've never seen it either. I the guess. three wise men. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <laughs> is what the, so this is basically what the wise men brought baby Brought to Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. And they said, hey, never heard of it. if you get chlamydia when you go older, <laughs> put this on it. Um, <laughs> all right. I don't know. I That's know. awesome. And then we got the chocolates over there. I don't know. Oh, oh and then the, the... Yes. Oh. And shout out to... Uh, to Top Shelf. Yeah. They grow only Top Shelf. But, Are they uh, putting weed in that, or is it like... Yeah, I think... So we got a pint glass here, and then a shot glass, and they put uh, they put weed in it. So. Oh, dope. There you go. Hell yeah. Is there a Top Shelf person? Top Shelf person? Yeah. 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 Up there. Way up there. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to them. Here. And by the way, you guys, when we do the, when we do the podcast... Uh, we like gladly. We'd like to try out different brands and stuff like that and see what it does. Kind of, yeah. it's kind of like a review. It's like a, it's like a Ryan's toy review, but a weed. <laughs> 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 if you know what that is. Uh, but yeah, we try it out it and then. Weed yeah, it's my weed review basically. Oh. Um, and you can see how like you know because because it, it is different now. Like it's awesome. Like I said, that they've been able to cultivate it and make it do different things. But there, it makes you feel differently. So it's cool to see. Feel different types of weed and how it makes you feel. Yes. Yeah. Also, uh, for podcast ideas, you can send to inquiries at ajubalthing.com. Yeah. Send if it you want to recommend something for Jubal to do after he gets high. Yeah. Inquiries at ajubalthing.com. Yeah. Send in your ideas. Send some of your fetishes. <laughs> this shit will be dope. Yeah. The, uh, some dude in the back's like, try it, missionary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> try it, missionary. <laughs> uh, all right. That is it for the Fresh Till Death podcast. Make sure you Thanks check out the podcast. Guys. Make sure you check out the comedy show tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, give one time for Manny Martin for hanging out. Yeah. Am hot. That's wife Alex Fresh. And Jubal Fresh. And we'll see you guys later. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>